everyone. Time for a fucking yeah. dick. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> it is Saturday today and I'm here with Stella as you can probably hear Hello. and see. And we are exploring Hampstead today. It's a really nice area in like the Northwest London. And I've only been here once. I don't know why, because everything around here looks so pretty and so Instagramable, which is totally why I wanted to come here. Stella already figured that out. But no, it's like really nice. And I thought it would be nice to explore a different area because we keep going to the same places. Stella already scolded me that I look like a backpacker again. This is me all the time. <laughs> I mean, I did put some effort in and I put on a skirt, but the only reason why I have it on is because I ran out of jeans. I washed them yesterday and they're not dry yet, so that's why I'm wearing a dress today. But yeah, apparently I look like a backpacker all the time because I'm wearing sneakers and, well, a backpack. <laughs> But I can't put my cameras anywhere because all my other bags are not big enough and they hurt my back even more. <laughs> So there's that. We are currently on the hunt for a creperie. Today Stella is the clumsy one. <laughs> So I'm not good at YouTube like To be that. fair, I haven't properly started eating mine yet, so this might happen to me as well. <laughs> but there's literally be. chocolate coming out of everywhere. This is my kind of door. <laughs> this house is look like a dream. They're so cute. We are in Hampstead Heath now, which is really nice. We went to get those crepes, which were kind of average, to be honest. They were not particularly amazing right they were okay yeah. yeah they were like average but the customer service was horrendous. horrendous i've never experienced anything like it before the woman who was like making the actual crepes was so mean to every single customer and i definitely won't be going back for that reason yeah. because if there's one thing i hate is like crap customer service where it's like intentional it's not like accidentally rude or something like that but like proper proper root proper bean so thumbs down for that <laughs> we are now walking to the pergola and hill garden something like that never been there before but it looks so nice apparently it's like a really popular wedding venue i hope it's open i hope there's not like a wedding going on <laughs> because we just saw a bus that was clearly hired for like a wedding shenanigans so we've made it sounds like there's a wedding going on over there we can get free food, but <laughs> free food <laughs> we're always down for free food aren't we <laughs> hope we can make it wedding somewhere crushers. <laughs> wedding crushers i mean i'm dressed very appropriately i have to say with my backpack although i do have a dress so maybe if i ditch the backpack i can kind of try <laughs> just joking <laughs> So there's definitely a wedding going on, but we're gonna go behind there. That's where I want to go And I think it's accessible because I see people walking around that are not dressed like they're at a wedding It literally feels like we are crushing the wedding <laughs> This is really random, but this bush you see with this white stuff There's one where my great-grandma used to live and whenever I went to visit her I used to pop this like I threw them on the floor Oh, wait, <laughs> I did this because you can hear like a pop. <laughs> <That's crazy enough. laughs> I mean, I know I'm a little bit crazy, so like, just look. Ah, oh, it's so, so <laughs> We are leaving the place now and we were taking photos for such a long time. Thank you, Stella. Stella, did a good job today. Stella is an amazing <laughs> manager slash assistant slash photographer. Plus, everything <laughs> everything. <laughs> she's like my girl. Um, we're leaving the place now and there's literally no one else here anymore. Oh my god, look at that grass, it's so green. Going now, have some dinner maybe at one point. Yeah, somewhere warm to see. Yes. Because it's getting quite dark. What's the time? Uh, it must be. 
5.15 Oh yeah, now it gets dark super early So we are in Home Slice right now and this is literally the biggest pizza I have ever seen It is Sunday now and I'm on my way to Mayfair I'm meeting up with my friend Sam who's visiting from Australia and we're gonna go have an afternoon tea at Sketch which is a really famous slash popular place here in London it's basically like a restaurant and it's known for its like pink interiors and like good food and they have these crazy looking toilets which everyone tells you to go check out so I'll definitely need to make a trip to the toilet but yeah it's basically a place that's on everyone's to-do list and none of us has been there before so we thought we would go check it out I just wish I didn't look at the price last night for the afternoon tea I knew it would be pricey I thought it would be like 30 pounds per person but it is actually 60 pounds per person it's quite a lot for my budget I don't think I've ever spend that amount of money on food before and I don't think I ever will in the future I'll probably have to eat cup noodles only for the rest of the year now <laughs> but you know what they say YOLO so let's do it <laughs> Right, let's sum up the experience, shall we? A, the food was good, although I don't know if it was worth almost 70 pounds. Having said that, there was caviar on the menu and quail eggs and stuff like that, so I guess they bump up the price because of those kind of things. Oh yeah, the food was good. The place is very nice. It's a very nice atmosphere. and definitely provides like a great experience. So if you're celebrating something, it's definitely a good place to go with like the girls, you know what I mean? But I have to say, I definitely felt a little bit out of place because everything was really posh and I'm just not a posh kind of person. <laughs> so these kind of places always make me feel a little bit awkward, but I'm glad that I went and checked it off my list because it was like, once in a lifetime kind of experience but now i really will be eating cup noodles until the rest of the year because uh hocus pocus i'm brokest after sketch i actually ran to new look i'm not sure if you remember but i ordered some boots from asos and those are actually from new look and the size that i got was size 5 which was too tight so i thought while i'm close to the Oxford Street. I would just pop into New Look and see if they have them in size 6 and try on those in case they fit. But when I tried the size 6 on, they were way too huge. And then when I tried size 5 on again, they were kind of fine. Like, I hope they will get stretched out a little bit. But yeah, I ended up buying them in size 5, which is European 38. And this is how they look like. They had them in black, so I went with a black option. Now I don't have to buy two pairs of shoes. I can only have these. Um, and I hope they'll serve me well because the old ones are literally falling apart. I'm too embarrassed to even show them to you. <laughs> that is it for today. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to you. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking